Hey guys, what is up and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing a video that is a bit different from my niche. I am definitely branching out. I'm doing something that, you know, I just, I saw someone else do it and I was like kind of inspired. I was like, okay, that that's cool. Let me, let me do it as well. So as y'all can tell from the title, I'm going to be reacting to my Instagram DM requests today. And if you are visiting this channel for the first time, please subscribe. If you've been on this channel and you have not subscribed, please subscribe, like this video, leave a comment down below let's jump right into the video i was actually i was coming from the supermarket and then i saw this prime and it's pink and i thought it was so cute so i was like i'm gonna get it just because it's pink i just got it because it's pink shout out to prime prime if you're watching this please sponsor me i actually had a half earlier on but yeah i'm dramatic as hell and every time i do these sit down videos i feel obliged to have to be drinking something so today i'm drinking this pink prime i have my laptop here with me so disclaimer i'm not going to be disclosing people's identities for the sake of obvious reasons i'm not trying to get sued or upset strangers online but yeah i think this can be fun because i actually get really i haven't checked my dms in quite a minute i checked them today and i was like oh my gosh i could actually make a video out of this it could be quite funny so disclaimer i'm not exposing people's identities and if you feel like it's you and you are offended it's not you so let's jump right in the first okay so this is just the person sending me reels first of all we don't even know each other you might see me online and think you know me which is fine i put out my personality online i publicize my life but i don't know you so you might think you know me or my personality or what i like i still don't think it's like appropriate to send a reel to a stranger like y'all know each other i share reels with like people that i'm cool with right people that i know oh send me a reel we laugh haha -ha. that makes sense and just sending me a reel i don't even know you like to me reels are so intimate like i would never just send a reel to someone i'm not like cool with so to me it's kind of like okay this person sent me a reel and laughed crazy this one said tanaka literally that's it they just said tanaka nothing else just tanaka my, my first name and that's it and this is a male I don't know. I don't know. That's that's how we're sliding now. But okay. This one said, "Where did you get your hat?" Oh, actually, I should start reading my DMs more because now it looks like I'm gatekeeping. But it was that hat that I had in my last vlog. I think I got it from Unique Vintage. If y'all know the hat, you know the hat. If you don't know the hat, it's fine. But I got the hat from Unique Vintage. If you go to Unique Vintage and say you want a hat you get that hat because i think those are the only hats that they have besides like beanies so shout out to unique vintage hey tanaka i love your channel and your content i was wondering if you would like to share some youtube tips and tricks and i was wondering if you would like to collaborate my name is da -da -da. so i get these messages a lot of like um tips and tricks to start youtube i feel like it the journey is different for everyone the general tip would be be confident be yourself pay attention to your angles your lighting make sure your camera is steady make sure your sound quality is okay make sure you also have a lot of people in your corner because i i have a lot of people that also helped me um grow on youtube the people that would share my link or whatever so have a lot of cheerleaders as well because those people that share your channel help it grow i guess and then now when youtube sees that a lot of people are sharing a lot of people are coming to your channel they push the algorithm in your favor that's like growth wise and yeah just originality i guess because there's a lot of stuff on youtube a lot of people a lot of creators but for you to stand out you just kind of like have to be yourself you don't have to imitate a, so you can learn certain stuff from creators that you like maybe better angles better filming styles better editing styles but it's important to keep that originality if you would like to collaborate um uh, i don't i don't think i'm doing any collaborations at the moment i haven't done collaborations in a minute actually but i don't know like i prefer to like collaborate with people that i already know for like safety reasons i'm not saying you're gonna steal me or whatever but also a matter of i might come off as an extrovert but i'm an ambivert i do have my introvert moments and i'm not particularly comfortable with like 
meeting new people bringing them into my space and then chilling it takes long for me to get comfortable so for me collaborations are like mm, i'll be pushing it this one said hi twice um they said hi first on the 19th of may in 2023 and then said hi again on the 13th of february in 2024 and this even looks like a ghost account so i hope you guys understand that i'm a human just like you i have a life i have responsibilities i have stuff to do so if i don't know you and then you come say hi with a ghost account sorry i'm not gonna reply i will see your message and skip yup this one sent a lot of messages this one is like mostly asking where do you get this where do you get that these ones, I always answer those ones because I don't like to gatekeep. I want us to all slay, period. Um, I didn't see this soon enough. These were like heels. I don't even remember where I got them because this was in like 2022. And she said, love the hair. Thank you. That's like an old hairdo. That was in like 2023. Thank you. And she's laughing. She said, you and food. She laughs. I mean, it's okay. The banter is okay. But then you guys forget that like, I don't know y'all. Like... It's kind of like, you guys know me because I put myself on the internet, right? And for me, it's still kind of hard to adapt to that. Because I mean, if I, like I'm a fan of Beyonce, right? And if she puts out work, I kind of like know her through what she puts out. So I feel like I know her, like she's my mother. She is my girl, okay? So obviously if she posts something, I can understand the banter. And then I'm like, oh, you like food and ha ha, whatever. She has no idea who I am. So... I don't blame y'all for being cool with me and like joking around with me. It's perfectly fine. I'm not complaining, but I'm saying if I don't always reply, I need you guys to understand that I actually do not know you and we've never met. So it's like, how do you capture pictures, TBH? As for me, I'm bad at that. Capturing pictures, um, well, I guess wipe your camera, get your angles, get your lighting. That's just about it, girl. Also get a good camera, camera person and train the people that you, that are taking your pictures. Tell them, Make sure I'm in the center of the phone. Make sure that it's not too much above me, not too much below me. You should be right in the middle. So if people are taking your pictures, make sure you tell them how you want your pictures to be taken. This one is a thirsty man. Sending all this inappropriate stuff. Yo. Oh no, I see that's what we not better do. Police, lock his ass up. There's literally a highlight of me and my man on my Instagram. Moving on. This one sent like 10 messages since 2022 and i'm not getting a reply but still he persists this one said hey hi hey hi how are you if you text me with no agenda i won't reply because we're busy out here okay we're busy this one said can i have your number please i am so and so then he said hi again then sent me an unavailable attachment that's crazy because some of y'all be sending your junk to me and i don't like that i don't like that I'm not trying to pollute my eyes and my pure soul. Gain group active followers 24 seven. <laughs> and they sent me a bunch of links. Are these not the people that hack you? Ah, you won't catch me dead buying followers. I do not want to lose my account. Like I've worked so hard on it. So to lose it now would be like, no. This one sent heart eyes. This one said, hey, how are you doing? You look good. Replying to my post. I can't tell if y'all have pure intentions or not. You know I got a man. Why are you in my DM? What are you trying to do? If y'all think I'm one of those girls that are not loyal, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> I don't play about my man. I respect him. And what I'm not going to do is reply dusty niggas in my DMs. We're not doing that. Hi. Love the hat. Thank you. I actually got so many messages on the hat here. And shout out to Unique Vintage. It's actually a cool hat. I'm not going to lie. This one said, yo. Okay. Hey, what's up? What's your plans for December holidays? I want to take you on holiday in Lusaka, Zambia and Zanzibar. Hey, what's up? <laughs> you guys, you don't even know me and you want to take me on holiday. You want to fly me to your country and then you want to fly me to another country. What if I'm a thief? Hmm? What if I'm a serial killer? Why are you inviting people you don't know to your house? Free niggas because yo you can't be that thirsty to like want to invite a stranger to your house who said women don't steal who said women don't kill your mother is praying for your safety meanwhile you're inviting people you don't know to your house stop it wow this one said where is this i'm on my way 
replying to a post that I made. As if I would say, oh, this is my location, pull up to a stranger online. Did y'all just forget about safety or, or what? You really think I've never met you and then you just say, where are you at? I'm, I want to come there and then I'll say, cool, shop, shop. Anyways, this one said, hey, hi. Um, how long do applications take to be accepted or declined or how long do you have to wait before you go and check? My dumbass applied to use it on Thursday, then forgot to ask when I should come back. Okay, this is actually important. Sorry, again, important messages get um swallowed by these unimportant messages. So when I do check my message requests, it's just those, hey, hi, can I pull up? Let me take you on holiday. The other ones at the top so now you guys who are asking actually important questions and that need my help and my assistance i won't see those messages because you know hi how are you so i actually don't remember how long i had to wait for my application to be processed but what i remember is that there's like there's a number of faculties i'm not remembering how much how many faculties we have but they accept people in order of the faculties. They'll start with the health faculty. You hear your friend who applied for medicine saying, oh, I got accepted. Then they go on to maybe law faculty. And my faculty was one of the last ones to get accepted. So I was actually now stressing saying, oh my gosh, like what if I didn't get a place and whatever. But what I can tell you is as long as you are within the cutoff points for the program that you applied for, you are definitely going to get in. You don't have to make phone calls. You don't have to go check in. As long as you qualify, you're going to get in. And this is like a demanding course of like maybe medicine or law where a lot of people are applying and then you're competing with people that have 15 points and then you had 14. That's the only instance where you can be. But if it's a degree program, that's not like flooded. You're definitely going to get in. Just be patient. Yeah, and when you get in, they'll let you know. Hey there, I came across your stunning pictures on Instagram and I was really impressed. I'm so and so, an artist singing Afro pop and Afro dance hall music. I would love to chat and possibly collaborate with you. Could I have your number? Here's mine. Don't forget to check out my Instagram account at whatever and listen to my music on YouTube and Audio Mac. Looking forward to connecting with you. Cheers. I appreciate people that are about their bag, but this is to you and to anyone who could potentially want to collaborate with me music wise. I am not in that department. I'm not in that industry. I don't see myself making music. I don't see myself featuring in music videos. Being a video vixen is not for me. Good luck in finding people to collaborate with. God bless you. I appreciate people who are about their bag, people who are about their hustle. And I hope that you are successful in your endeavors. Yo, who is this now? This Han wants me to, <laughs> to subscribe to her OnlyFans. This is probably a bot. So inappropriate. This one said, hi, beautiful. Hi, how are you? I got a man. I'm married. Sorry. Please, my dear brothers. Have self-respect. Don't send your private parts to people you don't know. You're traumatizing people's children and it's it's kind of gross and cringe. Because why are you making me see things I don't want to see? Like, good morning, your majesty. Okay. Good morning, your majesty. Hope you slept so beautiful. Have an amazing day. You are loved and cherished. Come get your present or send account details to the following number. Whose uncle is this? Whose uncle it is? I'm, I'm seeing the profile picture. This is an uncle. Let me go to the Instagram account. Because no ways. Married with kids. Oh, Lord Jesus. Absolutely not. Uncle, if you're watching this, go focus on your wife and kids. Okay? Thanks. This one said I should post on Pinterest. They want my pins. Well, that means you guys like my pictures and you like my aesthetic, which makes me so happy. But I am managing YouTube and Instagram and I'm really consistent on those apps. And I feel like adding another app that I have to be responsible for would just be like a lot of stress and I will end up slacking on Instagram and YouTube. So I'm focusing, I focus on YouTube and Instagram. Those are my two apps that I'm very active on. You won't see me on TikTok. I'm not even on Twitter. Like I focus just on Instagram and 
and YouTube. And I even post on my threads sometimes because threads is like an extension of Instagram. But I don't think I'm going to be on, on, on Pinterest. I also only go there for like inspiration and, and to see how people take their pretty pictures or when i'm not thinking i'm tough enough to get a tattoo and then i go search up tattoo pins and then i'm like okay let me book my tattoo appointment and then i'm like no no because needle i need some kind of intervention for me to finally have the guts to go get a tattoo because i know it's gonna hurt <laughs> but yo i don't think i'm coming to pinterest hi please tell me the location of this place i've been looking for these plants for the longest thank you um this is holstead it's along haraya drive it's like a hardware store and there is um is it called a garden shop y'all that's I, I sound so ghetto i know but it sells like garden stuff <laughs> but it's within holstead that hardware store it has like a lot of stuff going on so check it out the outfit and the makeup you killed it thank you girl is this a girl Thank you, whatever your gender. I loved it and left a like and a subscribe as well. Thank you. I love people who go to my YouTube and then discover my Instagram and then come interact with me. I love that so much. But don't be creepy though. I love you guys, but don't be creepy. Because remember, we don't know each other. So act like we've never met before when you're like, you know? Thank you. How oh, wow. <laughs> This one has been responding with a fire emoji to all my stories where I post my face since 2019 oh gosh no that's crazy well i appreciate the consistency but you can stop now uh -uh. what's this one doing in my dm i know this man and this man has a girl we all know this man and he's in my dm stop it focus on your girl if you don't like your girl have the courtesy to leave her before you start doing things like this in other people's dms okay huh with your blue tick and everything, busy in my DM and your girls on your page. Are you silly? You really think I'm a homewrecker? I love love and I appreciate people respect their partners. This one said, hey, hey, how are you? Babe! Sir, who, who's your babe? Me? You're not talking to me. Like, can I join them? I done reposted a quote about having my friends or something. And then this one's like, can I join them? Do you guys not think it's a little weird to dm someone saying let's be friends i feel like you don't have to ask to be someone's friend friendship is something that develops over time you don't openly say oh let's be friends like i love to see the progress thank you i posted something about my youtube yo so many hairs bruh you? this one sent a long paragraph um hello hope you're all right we don't know each other i don't know how to tell you but honestly i tell you from the bottom of my being when i told you that you was one of the most beautiful women i met on the networks was true you are fucking sublime or hit you huh? i'd really like to get to know you because what matters to me is just you as a woman your value as a human being and not huh? and not just physics no, I'm not trying to get together with anyone. Just talk with you. It was hard for me to tell you that I'm shy, actually. But I couldn't keep this for me. Life is short. I understand if you'd be re reluctant to all that I told you. Whatever your choice, I'll accept it. I think this is the first time I screamed this kind of message to a girl who really is bottom of my mind. I kid you not. I kid you not. Hey, I have something for you. Please check it out. And they're like advertising their music. That's funny. Hi, what's the name of the apartment you stayed at, please? I don't think that apartment had a name. The name of the apartment was the name of the road. Yeah. Hey, love. I hope you're okay. I would like to know how long your sheen orders usually take um i actually haven't bought from sheen in a minute but my orders would usually take about two to three weeks max the time that i actually stopped buying from sheen i'd ordered something just before black friday and my order ended up taking five months to come so i got so pissed off that why is it taking long and i didn't buy directly i would use like a personal shopper and pay for them to order for me but they took so long and I just got pissed off because if I'm buying something to wear it, 
what's the point of me now having to wait five months? I'd rather walk into a store and buy it. Even though Sheen is cheaper, you will have to cross mountains and rivers before you can get your clothes. So now it's like, I'm paying with my time. Why not just buy the expensive version off the shelf of a store? So if y'all know a Sheen plug that doesn't take long, please actually plug your girl. My DMs are open and I will check this time. This one sent heart eyes on two occasions. Our application is still open because I need me a hand who's not just looks. <laughs> no, applications are not open. I'm married. This one was asking me where I was. I don't even remember where I was because, girl, it's like a picture of scenery and yo, I don't remember. Sorry, that was a long time ago. Wagwan, you look like trouble. I do, don't I? Yeah, I am trouble. If you try anything funny, my man will kill you because he kills people. Hair plug, please. Um, my hairdresser is like a long-term family friend. She knows my style now. So she'll be like, oh, I found this hair. Let's do it on you. And then I'll be like, bit. So I don't particularly know where she gets the hair. Probably in town. I don't know. Hey, Paula, I am really a big fan of your YouTube. So I want to start posting on my YouTube. Can I please have tips on editing and times to post? Um, for editing, I use iMovie. That's no one even taught me how to use iMovie i figured it out because it's not like a difficult editing software and i edit on my phone because i don't know how to edit on my laptop to save my life technology confuses the hell out of me so if i could figure it out you can figure it out just get your hands on the iMovie i can't even tell you about InShot, CapCut, um none of that i don't know how to use them i just use iMovie for all my edits so and then times to post it's up to you i decided to post on fridays at 1300 cat because that's what i can do i can work on my video the whole week and then friday afternoon i upload my video typically it doesn't matter what time you post i think it just depends on what time your watchers are active so maybe you can study your algorithm and see what time your watchers are active and then you upload at that time but I'm pretty sure a lot of people are free Friday afternoon, so I upload Friday 1300 CAT. And then for my thumbnails, I use Fonto and Photogrid. Meaning, I just take my pictures, grid them together, and then Fonto for the print on my thumbnail. Hey Tanfresh, how are you? I'm good, how are you darling? Sup queen, sup? Hey Tanaka, I hope you're good. So I'm doing a date or pass video, but face to face on the 3rd of September, which is next saturday and i'd want you to be a part of it let me know if you're down for it and this was in august of 2022 like i said social anxiety so i don't think i could ever do one of those but thank you for thinking of me hey tanaka i'm so and so i'm really hoping you respond to my message i want to do food science and i know you are doing it you are my biggest influencer and i want more of what i need like o levels please okay so if you want to apply to the uz you need a pass in A-level chemistry and then two other subjects to back that. I did math biochemistry. Like you can literally have any other two subjects that you have a pass in, but they all need to be passes. But you need to have done chemistry to do food science. So if you guys can hear a baby crying in the back, just ignore it. It's our helper's baby. She brings her baby to work. He's like young. She can't leave him at home. So she brings him to work. And he cries a lot. <laughs> that is making me now not want to have kids. Okay. This one just tagged me, tagged me, tagged me. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't tag me if you don't know me. Okay. Thanks. Unless you're like promoting my YouTube or something. I love you, sis. I love your vlogs more. Ah, I love you too. And thank you for loving my vlogs. These are actually endless. Ah! This one said, bro, we just missed each other. I'm at Coco Mia now. See, I, that's why I post that I'm at a restaurant after I've left. Because people want to meet me. Imagine you're having a terrible day. You're starving as hell. And then now people want to come say, hi, I watch your YouTube. Think about it. Think about it. Imagine you're starving. You're looking crusty. And now these people want to come say hi. I will never post a location until I've left. I'm loving them lips, baby. I'm melting. I'm going to send my man your Instagram and he's gonna deal with you. Yo, oh, there's actually so many. I actually underestimated how many DMs I have, but there are too many. And I cannot possibly answer all of them in one video. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do a part two because I mean you all know what people send in DMs anyway, so thank you so much guys for watching. We have come to the end of the video. This was something cute and different. And y'all see what I deal with 
what is sent to me on a regular but thank you so much for watching make sure to leave a like and comment if you can it helps me with my algorithm watch them ads your girl needs the bag and she gets the bag if you watch the ads i love you i appreciate you see you in my next video